Welcome back to the channel. Before we can put the timing set back on the front of this engine, we need to take this cam phaser unit and put a phase limiter in it. So here I got this little Brian Tooley Racing phase limiter. All this is is a, is a block that's going to drop in and limit the travel of the phaser. In order to put that in there, we have to take it apart. It's not really a Ford procedure to service this part, so uh, we're playing this a little bit by ear. Um, the phaser halves are held together with these four bolts. Two of these bolts are long. That's this one and this one. One of them hooks to the end of the big spring system in there, and one of them kind of sticks in between coils of this spring. The other two are short, that's these two, and they just bolt uh, the cover on. We're going to use our cam phaser tool, our special tool. We're going to lock that in the vise. Then we're going to take out the uh, short bolts Take out the one long bolt and then the other long bolt, the one that's around the end of the spring that's hooked onto the spring, we're going to back that off just enough to be able to rotate this cover out of the way and drop the phase limiter in. Then we're going to rotate it back and put it all back together. I decided to do it out here in the shop rather than on my workbench because number one, it's easier for me to get the cameras in here for you guys. And number two, if uh, a little piece pops out here, there's actually a lot less debris and mess in here than there is back on my workbench. So it might be easier to find. Now, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is mark which bolts are which here. I guess just to try and give you a look here, this long bolt goes in and hooks uh, around the end of this spring. So that preloads the spring in this direction. This is the bolt that we don't want to remove completely. We just want to remove enough to rotate out of the way. And this bolt, which is beside it, is another long bolt. And it actually kind of sits between the coils of this spring. So let's label which bolts are which. This one is long end. This one is long and these two are short. Uh, and I understood that maybe I would need a screwdriver when I go to put this back together in order to kind of get this pried into the right spot. We have gathered up a few requisite tools, a special cam holding tool, a phaser, the lockout. This is a Torx 30-bit. Uh, now, <laughs> apparently this is actually Torx Plus. Um, the Torx 30-bit fits, but you better be careful and just use hand tools with that. And then uh, I guess I have my torque wrench for when we go to do the final assembly here. Um, let's start by putting the cam holder tool, the phaser holder tool in the back. That actually goes through all the pieces here and then we'll try and clamp this into the vise. Okay, so that's clamped into the vise. And then I'm going to put my safety glasses on and we'll start by taking out the short ones and then this long one and then we'll back this off enough to try and rotate this cover. All right, so they're all labeled short, short, long, long end. This is the one we only want to just back off and I think we'll start by just loosening them. Loosen. 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 
loosen. Loosen. Let's take these crossways ones out. Okay. I'm going to lay these out. Yeah, okay, so that spring wants to press on that, does it? Right. And you can feel the uh, spring kind of snap. And so there you can see after I took that one long bolt out, that spring kind of deformed there. It bulged out here. And in order to put that bolt back in, we're going to use a little screwdriver or a punch or something to push this back in the right spot. I'm going to take this one out. Lay that out there. And then I'm going to back this off. Just enough to rotate this out of the way. Okay, now careful, because something could pop here. There's our wedge been put in. And that should limit our travel. So there's a number two here, dot, dot, dot there. That's the smallest slot. These slots are all bigger. This has a flat surface, a flat surface. Before we have anything else pop out, let's put that back. Let's put this short one back in. Oh yeah, it's rotated it slightly, has it? Okay. Okay. Let's tighten this one back. Now, I just want these to be sort of lined up here. This other short one, let's get that in. That's going to go crossways if we're not careful. Those are roughly lined up. And we're going to stick this in. And I don't think we're going to have anything pop out of here. My glasses are fogging up. But let's take this unit out. And under here, I would say, I need to pop that. I want to make sure we're not cross-threading this. So that's back in between those coils. The spring system looks like it's the way it was. We're still captured there. Let's put this back in the vise. I'm going to go with Brian Wolf's uh, torque spec on this, which is 
16 newton meters so that's 16 That's and I bet you this old test sixteen too. Yep. Okay. I guess that phaser's put back together.